you know, the jerseys officially been leaked now, at least for the top half of the jerseys. It's officially been leaked now, and it is credited source. I'm looking at the pictures right now. It is nothing that we're used to seeing. We have the new uniforms, the new jerseys at least. I am ready to show you. I'm ready to talk about it, get into the jerseys. I want to talk about Brad Holmes too a little bit because he just had a press conference. Let's get this thing started. We're going to be live for the draft, Soaring Eagle Casino, one week from today. Myself, Herman Moore, Everything King, Dose of Dion, Speakeasy, Spenmo Racks, the Avengers of the Lions content creation. So come on down and hang out. I'm going to try to get to the draft on day two, maybe day three as well, over there in Detroit. So we're going to have some fun. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. You don't miss out. Are you guys ready? For the uniforms. Thank you, Pride of Detroit. Here it is, folks. The New Jerseys have officially been leaked. This is not a fake one. This is a real one. Here are the jerseys. As the first one you can see here, it's the black uniform is back. I think we all expected that. Why? Because the hats were black and blue for the jer- for the NFL draft. Generally speaking, it makes sense to go back to it. Here you go. So you got the new black uniforms. It's black. It's got the white outline with the blue inside and a bunch of little dots there. That's what they got going on here with the Lions Motor City in the background. Really cool. William Clay Ford, I'm not seeing that anymore. So you used to have the lines right here. Now the lines are right there. Okay, so different lines in the area. I like the blue. I like the black. I think this works out really well. I love. The, I even like this. This this is this is quite or quite cool right there. Having the Motor City in the background right now in the comment section. Give me your thoughts on the black uniform. It's going to continue on here. All right, here we go. So here is the unis. The white one. It's the same thing. Right, It's got white, it's got the gray outline, the dots in the middle, really cool. And 313, I like it a lot. You got the swoosh, still not seeing any of the William Clay Ford. No more lines here, lines right there. That's a fire uniform, that's that's really fire right there. Uh, it's almost similar to the ones that we had before. On the ones we had before, though, the Lions logo would be, or, or the Lions words would be right here. I'm not seeing that. Now, not saying that it's not going to be there because maybe it's not shown, but it's looking like that one is gone. And the William Clay Ford that would be on the opposite side is no longer there. So it's not looking like there's any any wording there, in which is fine. I, I prefer that. Um, let's get into this one here. Let's see if they got. This one is old school 1990s, folks. They're going old school here with the alternate uniform. This is the old school look, like the Barry Sanders or Herman Moore area. It's a throwback. I like it. Again, you've got the blue. you got the gray outline, white interior with the dots. I think that is looking pretty, pretty sharp. I wanted to see see if they would go the old school right here, and they did for that one. Um, yeah, so th- that's the that's the new uniform. And obviously, we can go back in here and take a look. Well, oops, let's go to this one. Yep, there it is. That's the new jersey. Now we don't know what the everything else is going to look like, right? We don't know what the pants are going to look like. We don't know any of that. I really wanted to go the same color blue as the alternate helmet. doesn't look like that's the case. That kind of sucks. It does. I really wanted the alternate uh, color, but it is what it is. These are pretty good, pretty good looking uniforms, though. Pretty good looking uniforms. 
So we'll see what the, the legs and everything look like. So what do you guys think of the uniforms? What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments below. All right. Let's get into Brad Holmes. He did a press conference, about 30-minute press conference on YouTube. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't done that yet. He's talking about the NFL draft. Clearly talked about how, again, it is drafting for BPA and a player that represents this regime, Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes type of guy. They're not going to draft for need. They feel like they have covered up needs. I know a lot of people is going to be upset if they do not take a corner and edge at pick 29. It's possible they don't because they're going to do BPA. They're talked about the offensive line. It felt like to me that they weren't going to go to it, kind of poo-pooed a little bit, like we have a bunch of guys, and if you were to draft a guy, they're not going to crack the lineup. Hard to really tell if, if he was just being honest there or he really meant it because obviously it's lion season. But I think he's correct. Obviously, if you're a draft guy, it's not going to crack the lineup right now. But again, it's the future of the offensive line, right? Frank Ragnow, Graham Glasgow, Kevin Zeitler, Taylor Decker. So there's question marks there. So they could still go it. I think it's going to be a little bit maybe less, though, just depending on who's there. Maybe they like a Jackson Powers Johnson or they, they like somebody else. That's the case. They also talked about how everybody's got to be on the same page in their draft room. They like the lone wolf mentality, somebody that doesn't agree with what everybody else says. And last year, they drafted a player, which there was a lone wolf on it. One guy thought he was ahead of the other guy. That's who they drafted on. I wonder who it is. I'm, I'm thinking it's Jameer Gibbs, honestly, because everyone was saying, like, they said everybody in the room was agreed that one player was ahead of the other. So maybe the, maybe it's Jameer Gibbs and B. John Robinson or Jack Campbell or somebody else or whatever, but that is the mentality. They are not going to draft for need. So don't get upset when you already know this is going to be the case. We just hope that need matches with BPA. That's what we want, right? We hope that the best player available is is a defensive player that can contribute right away, i.e. corner and or edge. But I do agree, you don't draft for need. It has worked with them. It's BPA, and they're just going to keep on going that route. They talked about trading up in the draft and out of the first round. If there's a player that they like, obviously they're going to go up there and draft that player. If not, they will trade back, and he is going to put the franchise before the fan base, and I, you have to be that way. You cannot, look, if you get a good trade back and a player who you like or players, are some of those guys are going to still be on the board, you do it. Don't care what the fan base thinks. Just because you're live in Detroit, you got to do what's better for the franchise. I, I, I'm starting to get an indication that they're probably not going to trade back, but that's 100%. Factual, So I won't get mad if they trade out of the first round because I know what they're trying to do, and they're trying to better the football team 110%. Trading up, again, they're all for it, right? Like if there's a player there, there's nothing changed in that philosophy at all. I like that. They're not done. They're still looking at tape. Brad Holmes talked about it. I mean, this is what general managers and scouts got to do. They got to, you know, confirm to make sure that they were right, right? With all these picks, that's their jobs. So they're still doing their research right there. Brad Holmes knows what he's doing. He knows how he talked about it's not just getting the first round pick, but every single pick right in a draft. Round one through round seven. Got to get it right. That's their job. And he's 100% correct. That's why this team is so good in the draft. They take it 100%, 100 and 10% serious. Not drafting off emotion. You're doing it for the best player that fits this team. That's what they're doing. It's not off anything else. So they want to bring in their Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes type of guys. It's work. The culture has changed here in Detroit. I don't think we can argue that anymore. So that's going to be fun to see here very shortly in about a week from the NFL draft where we can get better. 
He said this year's draft has more first-round talent than last year. Thought it was last year was kind of lackluster in the first-round talent. This year, there's a lot more, and that's good when you're sitting at pick 29. You can still get some good talent at that selection, and that's important. Very important. They didn't talk. He didn't talk about if he spoke to teams about trading up or down, but I guarantee you they've already done that. There's been rumors about it, and this is what every general manager does before the NFL draft. We'll see the route they, they go for trades. They can trade with any team. They can trade with the NFC North. We already know this, and they can trade with any team. That's what they do. Get better at the position, and they don't care if it's an NFC North rival. So that is good right there. Talked about players whom they kind of have an indication they're going to take. That's something that they want. They get their conviction in there that this guy has to be a Detroit Lion. So say if they're in a situation they could trade back five spots and they got five players they like, but one of them they extremely like, like they really want to have, they won't trade back. If they're convicted with that player, they're just going to take that player. I agree. If there's a guy you like that's a game changer, don't screw around. Take that player to help this team out. You know, so you can play these games all you want, but if you lose out on that talent, that's going to hurt you in the long haul. So, can't wait to see the draft in a week. Can't wait to see what the Detroit Lions are going to do with their picks. Can't wait to see the new unis on stage. Can't wait to see them tonight. They're officially going to get released tonight. I want to see what it looks like on the players, right? I want It's not just the, 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 the pictures that they're showing right here, but what it looks like on the players and the legging and all that lovely stuff. So it's going to be really cool. With that said, folks, adios.